What if I told you that your old Intel PC can actually run Mac OS, not just any version, but one of the most loved releases from Apple, OS 6 Mavericks. Back in 2013, Mavericks introduced features like Finder tabs, Maps and iBooks and it's quickly become known for being fast, stable and lightweight. In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to install OS X Mavericks on an Intel based machine. By the end, you will have a full working Mavericks desktop running on your PC. So let's dive right in. As first step, download Mavericks installer from internet. Open the browser, search for OSX Mavericks. Here you can see multiple related results. So among these, I am looking for a standalone installer. I can see an installer in internet archive. Let's open this. Let's check what exactly it is. Here it is mentioned as it's an ISO. It won't work for us. We need an app file. Let's open this and check it out. Looks like this is an official installer. Here uh, we can see the file size and, uh, and terminal command to create a bootable installer. Let's check the file contents. Here we can see a zip file around 5 GB in size. Let's view the contents. Yeah, it contains the installer app. This is the one we need. So let me download this. Wait for the download and you can see a zip file in your downloads folder. Unzip the installer. and move the Mavericks app into applications folder. Let's move to our next step creating USB installer. Let's open the disk utility. Insert your USB drive. Make sure the USB capacity is at least 16 GB. Select the USB drive and click on arrays. Here make sure the format should be Mac OS extended the schema is GUID partition map. Here I am going to name my USB as uh, my volume. Click on arrays to finish the format. Let's close the disk utility. Here we can see there is a terminal command to make the USB. I've rewritten the command. You can find it in the video description. Let's open terminal and uh, copy the command from the video description and paste it in terminal. Enter the password. It may take few minutes to complete the formatting and uh, preparing the USB. Here you can see the process is completed. Let me close the terminal first. Here you can notice our USB name is changed. It contains the installer app. Our next step is setting up the EFI partition. To do that, I am opening the open core configurator. So uh, from here, I can launch the EFI partition of the USB drive. Here you can see mount partition. Enter the password. Here you can see the EFI partition. So I am opening the partition and uh, I will copy the EFI folder from desktop to mounted EFI partition. You can find the EFI folder link in the video description. Before moving to next step, Please find my computer configuration. I have 4th generation Intel i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, 
using HDMI as display connection. Let me open the config playlist in open core configurator. I already created a separate video. In that video, we discussed about the detailed configuration of EFI folder. Find the link in description. Let's go to platform tab here. System model should be near to your existing CPU configuration. iMac 14,3 matches to my CPU. So based on your CPU configuration, you can modify this. Our USB is ready to boot. I already create a separate video to explain about the BIOS configuration for Hackintosh. Please find the link in the description. We all set. I'm going to restart the computer. While booting, I press F11 key to get the boot menu. Here, I'm going to select the USB. Select USB and press enter. Here you can see the open core boot menu. In the menu, select the second option, install OS X Mavericks and press enter. It take a minute to load and it show a Mac OS X installer window with the list of available languages. I will go for English and click on continue. Here you can see OS X utilities. In that I am selecting disk utility to make the hard disk ready for installation. Here you can see our hard disk. Select partition tab. I will go for a single partition. I will name the partition as Macintosh HD. Then apply the changes. You will see a confirmation pop up. Verify the information and click on partition. The hard drive is ready for Mac OS installation. Let's close this out and select install OS X. Click on continue. Continue with installation. Here go to the terms and click on agree and select your hard drive to install Mac OS X and click on install. This is a common installation error since OS X Mavericks is very old one. So we have to set back our system date to an old date. So to do that, I'm going to utilities and uh, selecting terminal and uh, set a date as February 12, 2016. Now date is changed, quit the terminal, go to same steps, install OS X, continue and uh, agree the terms, select the hard drive. Now you won't see the error. So this installation takes few minutes. The about to complete in a second step will take longer than expected, but no problem. Please be patient. It will complete. After the last step, the system will automatically take a restart. System will automatically show the open core configurator in that select the first option, install OS X Mavericks and continue. So this is the second step of installation. So here the OS X will install into our hard drive. For convenience purpose, I am fast forwarding the video. System will automatically reboot after finishing the installation. So this time, open core boot menu shows two options. One is install OS X and another one is Macintosh HD. So make sure select your hard drive and continue. In my case, the Macintosh HD and uh, let's complete the final step of the installation. It takes few seconds. 
to show the welcome window here click on show all if your country is not visible after selecting your country click on continue select your keyboard layout and if you have a local internet you can continue with the local network i don't have any information to transfer at this moment i'm ignoring it so go through the terms and agree it and let's set up your computer account that's all click on continue and wait for the account creation here you can see setting up your mac window this take few seconds and finally you can see your os x mavericks desktop let's move to the final step that is moving efi folder from usb drive to our actual hard drive let's open the spotlight search and search for terminal here you can type disk utility list you will find list of connected drives here you can see each drive having its unique identifier you can see our usb efi partition having an identifier as disk 1 s1 so to mount that partition type following terminal command here i am using the mount command to mount the drive with the drive path and press enter let's open the mounted efi partition copy the efi folder paste it in the desktop for now i'm ejecting the efi partition to avoid the confusion now our next step is to mount the our actual hard drive efi partition as we know our actual hard drive efi partition is disk 0 s1 so i'm modifying the command disk 0 s1 and press enter generally the hard drive efi partition won't appear in the desktop to do that go to finder and here you can see replace the existing efi folder with the updated efi folder on the desktop click on replace all and that's all our hard drive efi partition is ready so let's quit the terminal remove the usb drive just deleting efi folder and go for restarting the computer click on restart and wait for to computer to restart now one no need to select anything in open core boot menu by default hard drive is selected wait for the system startup enter password and continue our os x mavericks is ready to use let's check about this mac here you can see my system configuration and uh, you can click on more info and uh, here you can see uh, i have a integrated inbuilt intel hd graphics and uh, you can check the memory storage and uh, for more information click on system report here you can see the system basic information and uh, here you can see the audio check the memory check the usb we can see all usb ports are ready to use and here is the graphic configuration let's close this out and check the how the dock menu will behave so i am going to 
settings going to dock turn the magnification on and here you can see the magnification behavior is smooth and uh, here we can see all the graphics is working as expected and uh, the audio also working and uh, here you can see the dashboard is uh, looking beautiful that's all for this video in the next video we will learn how to install osx yosemite in any intel pc comment below if any concerns and like the video do not forget to subscribe thank you